Journal entry number one. Treason! An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together we will venture into the cursed woods and into Castle Hansen. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial. But rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight, I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Journal entry number two. I am. I can't remember what the hell the voice was. Although I am the eldest child, I am not my father's favorite. I have always known he planned to leave me with nothing. But if I find the cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less than the throne upon his passing. Upon my ascension, my wife and my children shall move back into the royal quarters. Back to the royal city, where we once again will be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for the gossip and petty slander of my cousins. The other dukes shall bow as we pass. But I'm getting ahead of myself. I must keep my priorities clear. Conquer the castle. Find the cure. Collect my reward. Journal entry number three. I have paid my dues and entered the castle proper. That devil Charon has taken all that I own as payment. He has even pilfered my private coffers. I have left my wife and children. Nothing. He says it's the price for any and all who hazard the depths of the castle. He says it is fair. It is fair because of all who have entered, none have returned. But I will change that. I will be victorious. There is no greater swordsman than I, even amongst my siblings. Until entry number four. Everything about this castle is off. I can't seem to keep track of my headings, and there is no sun, no stars to go. Well, you're indoors, dumbass. I find myself backtracking constantly, and I must painstakingly map out my progress, lest I go in circles. The maps I have pilfered off the corpses of other adventures are breathtakingly inaccurate. It is almost as if they're describing a different castle altogether. Perhaps this place does something to the mind. Or are the stones truly shifting beneath my feet? Journal entry number five. I cannot exit through the front gate, but that is of little concern. I am committed to my cause and will not back out. So far, none of the maps I have found coincide with my own. Yet upon comparing them as a whole, I have, believe I have unearthed a slight pattern. It seems the forest is always to the right, the tower above. And below, well, hopefully I won't have to find out. Journal entry number six. I have never liked the dark. I prefer to meet my enemies on an open field in plain sight. But now I find myself braving these darkened gallows with one gauntlet outstretched, the other by my hilt. I can never tell what horror lies beyond each corner. I am the greatest swordsman in all the lands, yet even I am having trouble keeping these demons at bay. My siblings should be grateful that I rushed ahead of them. For them it was a blessing in disguise. They would not have the fortitude to survive these halls. Journal entry number seven. It is still night. Past every window stares back the same melancholic moon, but I swear I have been here for at least a whole waking day. It must be the adrenaline. I have never felt so powerful, yet simultaneously challenged. It is exhilarating to charge through these rooms, cutting down enemy after enemy. In some ways, the foes in this castle feel tailored to me, training me, guiding me, watching me. This may sound crazy, but if this castle can somehow sense those within it, I fear it may hold malicious intent as well. If my assumptions are correct, the design of these halls could all be a ploy calling me down further into a trap. I must stay alert. Journal entry number eight. From the number of dead adventurers I have passed in these halls, I have come to the following conclusions. One, many did not take enough provisions with them. I assume many died of hunger. I myself am running low and will have to find more supplies. Two, many are missing clothes, which explains the pants wearing zombies. Number three, no one has made it as far as I, since I haven't passed any corpses in over an hour. Journal entry number, holy shit, I have a lot of help. Number nine. The door to the throne room is driving me mad. Beyond it lies the king's salvation and my reward, but it stands silent in the middle of the castle foyer, taunting me. I've tried pushing it, kicking it, yelling, Oh, princess of me! But nothing works. There are icons emblazoned into the doors, and one of them looks like a beast I avoided deeper in the castle. Perhaps there is some sort of correlation. Journal entry number 10. Oh, did I say number 8 last time? It was number 9. The emblems on the castle door are a clue. I slew the giant beast that matched one of the icons and I sensed something shift behind the throne room doors. 
as if in a dream I could see an emblem on the door glowing in my mind's eye. A truly out-of-body experience. At least I know I'm on the right track, but I must hasten my pace, for the king could succumb to his injuries at any moment. But first, I must rest. Tomorrow I enter the forest. Journal entry number 11. This forest is unlike anything I've ever seen before. It is both serene and terrifying. I stand on lush grass, but beside me yawns open a chasm so wide and deep, it threatens to swallow me whole. I still have not heard a response from the rock I tossed in earlier. A single misstep in my descent would be eternal. It is truly a horrifying thought. An eternity of darkness is more frightening than any beast I have fought thus far. If I, fa if I fell, what would kill me first? The hunger or myself? On a side note, I am now using the forest fisher as my own personal laboratory. I wonder if I am pooping into another dimension. Journal entry number 12! I have found a solution to my hunger problem. The forest holds an endless bounty of delicious mushrooms. And within these mushrooms lie chicken legs! Also gold coins, vials of sparkling water. I broke open a tray trunk earlier and a bag of money fell out! Sometimes I feel like I have gone insane. Plus, what is up with the moon? It's huge! Journal entry number 13. I slew the beast of the forest, and I have felt the throne room weaken once more. So far, my assumptions have proven correct. Each wing of the castle houses its own guardian beast. Was this designed as a test of will? If so, then I cannot fail, for the further I venture, the more bold I become. Tomorrow, I scour the tower. I am on a roll! Journal entry number 14. I have been methodically clearing the demons in these rooms in my quest to slay the next guardian, but I am losing track of time. And... other things. As I entered the tower, I felt time stand still. Or perhaps that is the vertigo talking. I was never keen on heights. What was I? I am finding it increasingly difficult to remember my past. Journal entry number 15. I remember being a famous adventurer. My martial prowess... Sorry, that looked wrong to me. I thought it was spelled incorrect. I thought I saw the R before the W. Doesn't matter. I'm supposed to be reading. My martial prowess surpassed all of my brothers. That I am sure of. While they spent their days buried in their bookish studies, I was out killing brigands and monsters. I always wondered why my father favored them over me. Isn't it always the opposite in fairy tales? Fortune favors the bold, not the insipid intellectual or something like that. Man, I would love to see my brothers try to outthink my sword in their face. Journal entry number 16. What if years have passed since I first entered these walls? It is true that I am becoming more proficient in clearing monsters, but it feels like an age has passed. I have even forgotten what my own kin look like. What if they think I have failed? What if my brothers has beaten me to the cure? And what if I mistook them for a monster? Journal entry number 17. I must be going insane. I stumbled across a carnival inside this castle, complete with a sad clown in everything. He's sort of an ass, but I guess you can't be picky with your friends in a place like this. I'm getting hungry again. Good thing I topped off on chicken legs. I found these in the chandelier. This castle. Sometimes I wonder if it's all just a big joke. Journal entry number 18. I have bested the beast of the tower, and once again I could feel the throne room give up some of its power. The rush I feel from this victory is intoxicating. Never have I felt so confident, so powerful, so... at home. Just a little further, and I will be able to earn my reward. I'm so close. I will make my father proud. Journal entry number 19. I have been standing outside the dungeon gate for longer than I care to admit. My courage has finally been sapped, for I have spied the monsters below and they make my previous struggles laughable in comparison. I must steel myself, I must focus. There is so little light down there, I feel that I may lose myself. Journal entry number 20. I thought I knew what darkness was, but here in the dungeon, the darkness has a voice. It calls at me through grates, and around corners, it taunts me. The darkness is so thick, it is almost tangible, and the beasts here have made it their home. They move swiftly through the corridors and are more terrifying than anything I've fought before. I must be prudent and choose my battles carefully. Being confrontational now may cost me my life. Journal entry number 21. I have done it! I have defeated the dungeon's master! All that remains is to enter the throne room! After this, the king will honor me for my valor and acknowledge me as rightful successor to the throne, not my faceless siblings. 
Journal entry number 22. I sit here, making my final preparations. All that lays between me and the lord of this castle is the golden doors. There is a nervousness in my body that I cannot quell. Is this fear or fear excitement? All I know is that my journal is finally reaching an end. I'm losing my mind. I almost forgotten why I entered this castle in the first place. But I remember now. I have bested my siblings. I will save the king and leave this castle a greater man than when I entered. My family will get the honor they so rightfully deserve. Now, I enter the throne room. Journal entry number 23. I never knew what treasure lay in this castle. I knew only that it would cure the king. Who could have suspected it would be the fountain of youth? I expected a monster to greet me at the dais. A foe of unimaginable strength. I imagined it would take all of my strength to best him. But when I entered the castle and saw my father, the king, sitting atop the dais with goblets in hand, I knew all was lost. He would never die, and I would never be heir. There are no words to express what I feel. Journal entry number 24. Journal entry number 25. Today marks the rest of eternity. I never knew what treasure lay in this castle, just that it would cure the king of his illness. Who would have known it would have been the fountain of youth? A myth which grants one eternal life. As I look down on the body of the king, I realize that it is inevitable. Children will always answer for their father's sins. I enter this castle a swordsman, a savior, but all I have left is a rogue's legacy. Hey, that's Ian. I can feel your anger, but no, it was not I who sent your family to ruin. The moment the king set foot within this castle, the royal coffers were empty by Turon. My family, all families, had lost all hope for a better life. And in my mind's eye, I foresaw only desperation and poverty ravaged the country. There was nothing for me to go back to. To my children, in my children's children, here I sit, impassive, immortal, and await thee.